Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. All right. Um, it's uh, it's been a little while since I've recorded in terms of uh, gameplay. Uh, may have put in about ten-ish hours on the game. There's a reason for that. It's all to do with the side quest, which I will mention I am disappointed that the fact didn't uh, let me know up front that this was going to be something that I would need to do or want to do. I am uh, slightly annoyed about that because uh, it meant that I could have spent a lot less time on it here now than I would otherwise have done. All right, so I there he is. Now he has spawned. So, um, I've done a lot of cooking. I needed to have uh, Flynn cook... Let's see, what was it? Salisbury steak enough times to get the steak. And there was something else. I think it's down here somewhere. So he mastered something. It's probably going to be the only thing that he has mastered. Uh, yeah, cream stew, and I think that got me pork stew. Anyway, you may have noticed that, um, one particular person seems to have, uh, mastered everything. Yeah, that is, uh, that is because we needed one person to master everything. So I decided to have Judith master everything. It seems that you've managed to gather all of my recipes, and you've studied them diligently. My eyes have not deceived me. All of you are now worthy to stand atop the stage of glory. Huh? Before long, a cooking battle will be held in order to promote goodwill between the Empire and the Guilds. I'd like to nominate you to represent the Guilds. A cooking battle, eh? Why not enter yourself? We chefs have our own competition amongst against the chefs of the Imperial Court. The competition you will be appearing in is an exhibition match. You say you compete against the Imperial chefs every year? It's the first I ever heard of that. In the kitchen, we chefs act with fairness and equality. Our interactions with the Imperial chefs have always taken place behind closed doors. With the recent cooperation between the Empire and the Guilds, it's become possible for you to do a public competition. What do you say? Surely I've convinced you to enter. It's a chance to improve our guild's reputation, but it would be terrible if we lost. Stop making excuses, and just take this. Cooking match invitation. A place only for master chefs. Who is worthy of receiving the kiss of victory? Uh, I don't know about this. Fear not, your opponent is an amateur. And what's more, with what I'm about to give you, victory will surely be within your grasp. I present to you now, the ultimate dish! I learned the recipe for Mabo Curry. Ah, oh, crap, another thing that I need to work on. <laughs> if you use that dish, along with all of my recipes that you've mastered so far, surely nothing will stand in the way of you becoming first-class chefs. Now go! Waste not a single moment! Your training awaits! I'll be waiting for you on the stage of glory in Dongrest's cooking coliseum. Wow, a cooking battle. Sounds like fun. Promoting goodwill between the Empire and the guilds is important. Well then, sounds like we'll need to pay a visit to Dongrest sometime soon. Yeah, but not quite yet. Hi, kitty. Meow. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that means that, um... Yeah, soup noodles was the last thing that I, uh, I mastered. Alright, where is the, uh, Mabo curry? There it is. Do -do -do. Just so I don't accidentally cook something else. Uh, now, when you cook the same thing multiple times in a row, um, they become less effective, so you are supposed to you know, shake things up. It's like a 1% loss every time or something like that. But we're not going to do that yet because I need to... Uh, actually, you know what? 
easiest way. I need to learn that recipe, and I will do that in between episodes. Uh, basically, what I just did was uh, I'd go to Yumanju, uh, buy a bunch of stuff, and then go to an easy place. And I, I currently have like all of the uh, um, combat set to automatic. So, speaking of... So, can we just go all out? so yeah, just let the uh, AI handle everything. They're not that good, but... Against... Against monsters, it's... I mean, like, easy monsters, it's really, really hard to not do... pretty well. <laughs> These are not easy monsters. I mean, they're, they're like, mid-grade. I mean, they're easy for... Yeah, so as you get yeah. Apparently I cannot cancel that. Yeah, you you're gonna okay, fine, you're gonna life bottle. Alright. So yeah, this is not a good area for this, apparently. Uh, but I ended up with a lot of uh, recipe ingredients, too, which I ended up selling off. I actually made a decent amount of money. Um, I mean, I'm up to 873000 but that was 10 hours. Whereas doing the, uh, the selling here is a lot easier. Crank, crank, thunk, thunk, crank, thunk, thunk. This is a capsule toy pavilion. Come on and crank the cranks to your heart's content. Hmm. Maybe I've already gotten that uh, scene. Oh well. All right. We need to play this uh, 30 times. All that we have to do is go in there. Oops. There's also a couple scenes that, uh, skits that I've, uh, seen that I need to show off. So I'll go ahead and do that. There's a few other things to do here. I don't need to have, uh... No, alright. Just need to do this 30 times. I mean, I'm paying the chips, but... I'm not actually playing. Kind of surprised that there's no one in front of any of these uh, machines. I mean, obviously everyone realizes that these uh, that this game is just ridiculously uh, impossible. Is this actually? Yeah, this does have my high scores. My three, my three high scores. 45, 14. Oh yeah. It's nice that you don't actually have to play it. Riveting gameplay here. But hey, I could be uh, cooking Mabu Curry. I have no idea what Mabu Curry is. I'm not actually sure if I've ever had curry. I'm not a fan of spicy food, so. I wish there was a counter on how many times I'd done this. I suppose I should have done some of this off screen.
Well, let's just die. Wee, game over. Hey, looks like someone's playing our games. Looks like someone's having fun, eh? Hey. I tell you, once I started start doing this kind of thing, you can't pull me away from it. Me too, me too. This is super fun. Eesh, you are all so immature. Look who's talking. It's Miss No No, you're going the wrong way, backseat gamer. <laughs> oh, Rita. That's right, Flatty. You looked like you were quite into it. That was just... I, I was just looking to see how poorly they were doing is all. Right, right, of course, of course. But you know Papa Ponytail. Huh? You mean me? You're pretty talented, Papa Ponytail. You got some pretty slick skills. Well, I am pretty good at this kind of thing. You like games, do you? Sure, I like them a fair bit. Well, I prefer chasing ladies to smashing buttons, though. Me too, Papa, me too. Nice, very nice. I see you got your priorities straight. Oh, great, they're bonding. Papa, I like you. I'm going to let you play for free from now on. No chips needed. Hey, hey, that's mighty kind of you. I can tell we're on the same wavelength. It already feels like I've known you for years. I agree. I think I'll give you a nickname now, since we're such... We're already such chums. How about Ponytailed Gamer? No, 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 no. That's Ponytailed Slacker. Sounds good, eh? Hey, how about that? That's a pretty wild and crazy name. Suits me. These two are beyond help. Raven earned the Hardcore Gamer title. And an ultimate blue cape nullifies water, wind, darkness attacks. Damage from fire, earth, light attacks increased by 50%. Alright, now we want to also... Uh, I guess not do that yet. Um, Alright, let me see if I can find the, uh, the scenes. Yes, yeah, skit player. Had a list here. Okay. Uh, battle. There we go. Just stick them together. Estelle, that art you just did. Holy crap, yes, that's loud. I know. I surprised myself, too. I just kind of stuck attack magic and support magic together, and that came out. No, no, no. That was way more powerful than just kind of sticking them together. R really? That just shows how strong Estelle's grown. <laughs> well, you're definitely a lot stronger than when I first met you. Keep up the good work, Estelle. Of course. You two do the same. Holy crap, that was loud. I, my, my settings didn't get changed, did they? I mean, skit volume is all the way up, but I think it's been all the way up. Um, yeah, let me turn that down just in case, because uh, so anyway, that uh, that one came up because she did her mystic art uh, during one of you know after one of the automated battles that I was in. So I am pretty sure that um, these are probably also more of those. Uh, where is it? Figured it would be a uh, a battle one. Oh no no, it was a cooking one. Right, Judith goes all out. Yeah, I have not seen many of the cooking ones. Rita, you're eating quietly for once. Now it's super quiet. Do you like the food? I wouldn't say I like it, but I don't dislike it. I'm glad it suits me. Hold on. 
Fine game, I'll turn the volume back up. <laughs> We're crying out loud. Rita, you're eating quietly for one. Nope. All right. I apparently turned it up. It, I apparently need to have it somewhere in the middle. Jeez. Thanks, game. I'm pretty sure that this did not change. Let's just put it there. Sorry, everyone. Rita, you're eating quietly for once. Do you like the food? I wouldn't say I like it, but I don't dislike it. I'm glad it suits your taste, Rita. I've heard that making pork stew is especially time-intensive. Yes, it takes at least two days to boil the pork until it's soft enough to eat. It seems you're pretty good at cooking elaborate dishes, Judy. I used to cook a lot. I don't mind a little work if people will enjoy it. Did you used to cook for your family? Yes. And now I have you all. It makes all of the hard work worthwhile. It's delicious. Huh? Rita, did you say something? No. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. And let's see. I'm not sure where the other one is going to be. There it is. The Fount of Warmth is like this phantom guild that people have only heard stories about. Never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. The Phantom Guild, huh? If they're a guild, then they must have their own rules and purpose, right? The stories I've heard say their purpose is to provide the best service to their customers. Rumor has it that any member who's rude to a customer must immediately take their own life. That's insane. For how relaxed this place is, their rules sure are strict. That, that's just insane. Anyway, that was, uh, you get that upon going into Yumanju, probably for a certain number of times or something like that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh... There's still a few that we have missed. I might look into what we can do to get those, some of those at least, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for post-game type stuff. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do this uh, doctoral degree thing that uh, uh, I'm sure Rita would like. Welcome to the official Imperial Agency ex Examination Station. You can take a number of different exams here. Um, I don't. I do. I not talk to you. You'd have to stay standing while you're taking them, so it can be difficult. It's a true test of one's wisdom, energy, and stamina. Oh, do I already have the exam application? I bet I do. I probably have to go take it someplace else. Yeah, I do. All right. Um, what do I need to do? Okay, I need to go to Halur for some reason. Um, let me see if there's something else that I can do, or if I have to go do something else. Nope, not yet. Alright. Off to Halur we go. I can't believe it took me so long to realize that we could do this. So there are some places that seem to spawn enemies slower, and that's not a great place to uh, fight. I found that uh, around the around Gasfrost is a pretty good place. Back then, I wish so many times that I had died, but I don't think that now. I cannot die until I've repaid my debt to the people here. 
They gave me hope when all hope was lost. Repaying their kindness will probably take the rest of my life. This is the mayor's house, right? There we go. Here it is. This is the village carpeted with flowers. Ah, such a tattered old book you have there. Um, would you mind if we borrowed it? Certainly, I don't mind. It's just some old technical book. It's all gibberish to me. Thanks a lot. No, I think nothing of it. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for our town. The Village Carpeted with Flowers, a book from Halur's Mayor. How to create fertile soil to make flowers bloom beautifully. Also, I should probably check to see. I'm pretty sure I have uh, everything that... I can currently get right now. I did create a couple uh, weapons that I did not have. Um, let's put her in that because there is something that we could do if she is the maid and using that. So we'll try that. I'm pretty sure I have learned everything at this point that we have. Although you might actually be uh, missing something. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I, I learned the stuff pretty quickly. Um... Like, it's impossible to tell how many points it actually needs to learn anything, because you just have this bar. But, um... It goes really fast, and enemies actually give you a surprising amount of points for it. Yep. Alright. I've got everything that I can right now. I'm sure that there are weapons that I've missed at this point, however. Now that service. Well, what do you think? Whoa! And just what are you staring at? Uh, I, I was just thinking that if Judith was a waitress somewhere, I'd go there every single day. Ah, Carol, taken by the charms of an older woman. Of course, I do the same thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I wonder if I should show a little more. You know. No, I think you do oh, enough. Yes. Oh God, yes. Judith, I think that's enough. I can't stand seeing Raven like this for much longer. Hmm. Kind of wondering if there's just something that you have to do to uh, um, get those to trigger or something. Because I've had, I suppose maybe I didn't have her wearing that for very long. But it was just not that long. Maybe it's just based on the number of times you put it on. I don't know. Alright, next up, we want to go to... Heliord. Alright, where is the actual entrance? Let's not go that way. That way, let's come in this way. All right, somewhere around here. Oh, no, I think it's through here. Yeah, there we go. Right here in the back of this box. Aha, urban planning for bustling cities. We found what we're looking for, but there's nobody around at all. What should we do? You could ask Flynn. Excuse me, we'd like to borrow this uh, this book. That's okay, right? I don't hear any objections. Let's take the book and go. 
I don't know how anyone could hear such a quiet voice. Oh. Oops. A book from the Heliord Chevalier's headquarters. A record of urban planning. Okay, now we want to go to uh, Mantake. I really wish you could uh, do that quick travel thing from inside the cities. <clears throat> All right, next up, Mantake. This area is not too bad for uh, getting enemies to spawn either. Alright, in we go. It seems like it should be around here. Oh, here it is, here it is! It's the legend that sleeps in searing sands. Well, well, this book belongs to the inn, doesn't it? Yep. Is there something you wanted? What's well, about this book on the shelf here? Oh, that? That shelf is full of books that guests have accidentally left in the inn when they've stayed here. To be honest, we don't have any use for them at all, and guests hardly ever come back for their books. You can feel free to do whatever you'd like with any of the books in that shelf. It should be on the shelf, not in the shelf. So you mean you don't mind if we take one of them? No, oh, go right ahead. In fact, that shelf fills up pretty quickly. We've just been throwing away the books whenever it gets full. Oh my... Rita, fireball him. Alright, we'll take it then. Thank you. No, no, fireball him! A book left behind at the inn in Mantake contains various folklore of Kagor. You're on the list, sir. Yeah, you know what list. Throwing away books. The nerve of him! Donate them to the kids! Start a library! I suppose that tells you uh, just how common books are around here, though. Alright, um. Next up, we want to go to Arnian. I see that Flynn's a clean freak as always. Am I? I think this is a normal level of hygiene. Hold on, what's that book? Huh? It says, Against a Backdrop of New Hope. Bingo, that's what I was looking for. This goes into my Star Wars collection. Oh, good. Yuri, when will you ever learn? Alright, you can have this book. Take it to the test. Thank you. Thank you. You fool, faking politeness is even harder than just asking direct. A book from Flynn. Reading it will cheer you up whenever you're feeling down. Hmm. Alright, now we want to go to Capitorum. Let's, uh, I think this is going to be the headquarters of... Yeah, Fortune's Market. Forgot what they were called <laughs> for a moment. Which I believe is over here. Yep, Fortune's Market Headquarters. Don't come to the office so often in the dead of night. Is this the book you're looking for? 
Yes, there's no mistaking it. That's reflections on the scent of the sea. Oh, so you're interested in my autobiography. Perhaps the allure of high seas profit has finally caught your eye? You wrote this? What the? Uh, oops, I mean, could we have it? Straight and to the point as usual. <laughs> I admire your candor. You may have the book if you like. Study it well. You might learn something. Thank you. This helps a lot. Oh my, all this interest in my life story and now words of thank thanks from you? I can feel the winds of change blowing across the sea. Reflections on the Scent of the Sea, an autobiography of Mary Kaufman. Oh, her first name is Mary? Did we know that? It details her life from birth in Trim to becoming a guildmaster. Where the heck is Trim? Alright, so you've finally gotten all of them? Yep, I've collected all five. Now I can go and take that test. Going out to look for books all across the world. What a crazy test. Oh, the real test is yet to begin. There'll be a written test that requires using these books as reference material. Yeah, just thinking about tests makes my head hurt. Wouldn't you like to give it a try? Just to see how you do. Nah, I wouldn't have a chance. I don't care about what's-his-face degree anyway. Yeah, giving something like that to you would be like casting pearls before swine. Hey, who are you calling swine? How rude. Alright, well, I am going to call it an episode here. Um... And uh, when we come back, we will go to uh, Namco Banda and take that test. But I am going to go learn this uh, Mabo Curry recipe, master it. So, I shall see you guys next time. See you then, everyone.